Our cantata, Sumer is a Kuma Inn, is about God's love, as seen in the wonders of the world God created for us. Last Sunday was Rogation Sunday, the day when the church offers prayers for God's blessing on the fruits of the earth and the labors of those who produce our food. The word rogation comes from the Latin rogare, to ask. Rogation days are a time to ask God's blessing on the crops and for a bountiful harvest. Few of us today are farmers, but it is good to be reminded of our dependence on those who grow our food. We wear green ribbons to remind us of our responsibility for the environment. Among the most marvelous wonders of God's creations are the seasons. Nobody knows more about the seasons than farmers. In Genesis, we read how God created the seasons. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. And let them serve as signs to mark seasons, days, and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. Wow, God can just say the word and there are stars. That's awesome. Our next song is called Hilarity. It's a Latin word that means joyful. God's creations are so wonderful that we should all just be hilarious. <laughs> from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to seek, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to throw away, a time to tear, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, a time to speak. A time for love, a time to hate, a time for peace. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. 
All seasons have their time and place, and each is wonderful in its own way. But we are going to sing about one of the seasons that we are especially excited about. And the season is summer! Robert Frost. The sun was warm, but the wind was chill. You know how it is with an April day. The sun was out, and the wind was still, and you're one month on in the middle of May. But if you so much as dare to speak, a wind, a cloud comes off a sunlit arch, and a wind falls off a frozen peak, and you're two months back in the middle of March. You probably noticed that many of the words in our carols are kind of strange sounding. I mean, even stranger than most of the words you hear in church. It's partly because many of our carols are very old. Ancient. The words of our last carol were written by the poet Geoffrey Chaucer over 600 years ago. And our first song, Summer is a Coming In, was written at least 100 years before that. And the words sound, were a bit strange sounding, didn't you think? Some people think that, well, that carols are only sung at Christmas time. They are also sung at different holidays, such as Advent, Infinity, Lent, and Holy Week. They are also sung at seasons, such as fall, winter, spring, and summer. The origin of the word carol is related to dancing, especially, especially a kind of dancing called circle dancing. We like these carols because they have very happy rhythms. Also from Ecclesiastes, there's a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Tu 
this, a poem by Emily Dickinson about the changing seasons. These are days, these are the days when birds come back, a very few, a bird or two to take back with them. These are days when skies put on the old, old sophistries of June, a blue and gold mistake. A fraud that cannot cheat the bee, almost thy plausibility, induces my belief, till ranks of seeds their witness bear, softly through the altered air hurries a timid leaf. O sacrament of summer days, O last communion in the haze, permit a child to join thy sacred emblems to partake, thy consecrated bread to break, taste thine immortal wine. We invite all of you to join us in chanting responsively a song of creation. We hope that you have enjoyed our cantata and that it has helped you feel the joy that is everywhere in God's creation. To see the wonders that can be seen in all creation, in all the seasons, and especially summer!
uh, please remain standing. Sorry. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whom saints and angels delight to worship in heaven, be ever present with your servants who seek through art and music to perfect the praises offered by your people on earth. And grant to them even now glimpses of your beauty and make them worthy at length to behold it unveiled forevermore through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. beginning of the service, we prayed for God to give us calm, strength, and patient wisdom. I cannot think of two other leaders in our church that share 
God, excuse me, this is last year that we're graduating, that share both their strength and their wisdom with the children. Thank you so, so much. And I know you can't see it from the ribbon, but these are bookends. We think of you two as our bookends that really hold our children together and share your gifts with them. So on behalf of the choir mothers and the families um, of both Cherub and Children's Choir, we have um, a special gift for you to go and enjoy music of your choice um, and an evening at the Tin Pan. So thank you for all of your hard work this year. Good morning, St. James's, and welcome to all. I'm so glad to see you all here, and a special congratulations to our choristers today, and to the Whitmires and Jean, and all those who work with them, our musicians. What a joyful, joyful morning. A special welcome to any newcomers or visitors who may be here today. We're delighted to have you, and I hope that you'll introduce yourself after the service and pick up a newcomer packet, which you'll find in the narthex, which is just past those doors back there. We're so glad that you are here. Today we do have the Sunday Bible study with Tom Blair after the service downstairs, so I hope you'll take advantage of that. And then just a, a note about some upcoming things happening on these next few Sundays. On Sunday, May 20th, we will have confirmation and baptisms at 9 and 11.15. Then on Sunday, May 27th, we move to our summer morning worship schedule of 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock Holy Eucharist. Then on Sunday, June 3rd, we will celebrate our Jazz Eucharist in the morning at 10 o'clock as well as Founders Day. And then finally, on June 10th at 5.30 in the evening, we will begin our summer jazz mass in Valentine Hall. So lots to make a note on your calendar about. So many wonderful things coming up in these next few weeks. We have a rain barrel workshop coming up this coming Saturday, May 19th at 10 o'clock, and the deadline to register is tomorrow. So please go and um, register for that if you'd like to come. We also have doers dining happening over these next few months, and if you'd like to register to participate in one of in a supper club through doers dining, please do that. The deadline to sign up is May 15th. And finally, we have a Pentecost party fundraiser for our annual Shrinemont Parish Retreat coming up on Wednesday, May 23rd at 6 p.m. in Valentine Hall. There is more information about that in your chimes. And we also now have registration for the Shrinemont Retreat live on the website. So please make a note of all the wonderful things going on. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God.
Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus, the light of the world. Shine in our lives, may God among us, among us, among us. We seem to praise you with songs of delight. Ha, ha, ha.